all right, y'all. So today we're finna react to the problem with black YouTube. So I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of problems with black YouTube. I'm being honest with you, but you know what I'm saying? I know y'all heard about when the dude, you know what I'm saying, messed up the dude's video because he was doing a video with Krishan, you know what I'm saying, the 20v1 jump. That was crazy. Bro had the sticks out and all that, but that's none of my business, bro. That, that's crazy, bro. But without further ado, man, let's get right into the uh, reaction, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. What? She touched it. What the fuck? That's what I'm problem saying. With YouTube, specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Berlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't care about their content at all. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube. And all their videos are just based around sexual right. things. What one the? side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make. And the other side is like that $2 McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes. But the next day you feel like absolute Hmm. It's kind of like yin and yang, you know? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that other side of black YouTube, the terrible side. Now, when it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea, you know? There always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal truth or dare. It has to be. It has to be a freaky truth or dare. You can't just go on a blind date. It has a to freaky be a freaky date. blind date. The other day, I literally seen a video titled, I put my freaky ass parents on a blind date. What? Where Bro, to the you put what, bro? Not, bro. Now we bringing the parents into this. That's, bro. That's, bro. It's one thing you get the OF models and the put the P stars, bro. But you bringing your parents, your freaky parents. Nobody want to see that, bro. Like, like genuinely, nobody wants to see your parents getting freaky on camera, bro. Why would you want to see? Let's talk about it. Why would you want to see your parents get freaky on a blind date? Like, cool, like that doesn't make sense to me. Like, that's disgusting. Nobody wants to see their parents getting freaky in general, bro. Like, come on, bro. Be harder than crack in the 80s. I can't tell you how many black content creators I've seen milking the absolute. That's life what I'm out of saying, bro. Now, if you don't know what a 20v1 is, well, it's basically like a speed dating show where 20 people speed date one person. And by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people. I'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized by the sidemen. And then the black community community just took it by storm now don't get me wrong there are some genuinely funny 20 v1s yeah. out there but then you got channels out here who are posting 20 v1s every single oh week. my god for example no love mar now if you don't know who no love mar is well he's a pretty big black youtuber who has 1.44 million subscribers but when you take a look at this man's channel basically all of his videos are 20 v1s i wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to q <laughs> he's helping out everyone find love i wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20 v1 with the whole entire youtube United States for his next video. Honestly, at this point, this man should put me in a 20v1 to help me find some action. Like, come on. <laughs> and what's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with 20v1s that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20v1 with Chris. Oh my Rock gosh, bro. Oh, that was crazy. No, he ain't even jump. I don't know if y'all seen the video, bro, but he, bro, no, well, no, he did get jumped. But it was it was sticks involved too. You know what I'm trying to like it was blicks involved. Like I don't know if y'all seen the video on the internet, but I seen it on Instagram, bro. A lot of pistol whip cuz. I don't know if it was a dude that was that was making the video, but somebody got pistol whip. He had the duelies like on some car, like on some Call of Duty type shit. He pulled out the duties, the duties like this, extendo mags, bro, mad stuff and all that, bro. That was crazy to me. I'm like, bro, we doing this over a video, bro. Like it like YouTube, like it's it's look, Mary, it's not that serious, bro. It's, it's not that serious to pull guns out over somebody for a, a YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get the same ideas every day, bro. Every, you know what I'm saying? Everybody do the same thing, bro. Why are you getting mad? Because he trying to get his bread too, bro. Like, you feel me? He wanted to do that idea first. I mean, there's literally entire Look, videos see? of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the snaggletooth demon <laughs> Krishan Rock? That woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, why are you out here jumping other that YouTubers? Because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Sick. Imagine if Moist Critical got to a topic before me and I fought him because of that. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? Like, it just doesn't make sense at all. Because, even... like, nowadays, right, it's kind of like, like, everything has been thought of. Well, from, from what I think, everything has been thought of, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of just like, you can do the same, you can do the same thing, 
but make it your way. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do a twenty v one, but like make it like your like like what like what's different about your twenty v one? You know what I'm saying? Everybody got the same ideas, but like kind of have a twist to it, or like you know what I'm saying? It's just you know it, it's you. Like you know what I'm saying? Do it your way, or just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody. I would say everybody is different, but every, you know, what I'm saying everybody also has their similarities. But everybody's their own person, so it's really like with YouTube, bro. If you gonna do, if you got the same video idea as somebody, you know what I'm saying? Just make it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like when it comes like with reactions, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm yapping crazy right now, but just just hear me out, right? I know like when it comes like reactions, everybody do reactions, but what's different about everybody's reaction is their reaction. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the personality. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like. That's really what it is. So like, if you got to like, it's okay to have the same idea, but don't beat somebody up because you have the same idea as them. That's kind of just it's dumb. It's literally dumb, bro. You know what I'm saying? So just, just really, just be yourself and show your personality, bro. Don't be like somebody else, bro. You feel me? And scam in the video. They're all doing the same seven hundred fifty dollars cash app scam. Even the scam in the video is the exact same. These dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory, bro. Like they're just printed every single freaking week. Every week, I see a new up and coming twenty one <laughs> YouTuber. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their twenty v ones, which is very wait for sad. real. For you guys that don't know, there's this rapper named La Tyler, and he's seventeen oh. years old. And the YouTuber No Love Mar, he made a video with la tyler he made a 20v1 and it's disgusting if i'm being honest with you how you feel about sex on the very night i don't think it's bad like if both of y'all vibing with each other you peep the vibe wow we grown we grown you're 17 buddy there's a bunch of grown women i didn't even there. know that i didn't even know it. what see now it rolls with reverse you know what i'm saying it's you know what I'm saying? hey we ain't gonna get into that bro we ain't even gonna get into that bro but it's it's just crazy, bro. Like this is this is getting out of hand, bro. The twenty v ones need to be put to rest, bro. Like, cause like it's just getting out of hand, fool. Like that little assist character that you have in freaking Mortal Kombat <laughs> when you spam L one. I mean, as you can see right here, there's literally a video called "I Found Love from the Help of Lil RT." Why do you need? Why a do you need a nine year old? Fine, what, love? bro? Like, got this is what I'm talking. Like, what are we? Like, what are we doing here? Like. Like, what are we actually doing here on YouTube? Like, this is like, it's literally, it's already nothing to watch. And it's bad enough that, like, y'all just, like, spamming the same thing over and over. That's the problem. Like, nobody's really thinking anymore. Everybody is money hungry, bro. Like, the money is cool, bro. But me, personally, bro, I just I just want to build a community. Like, I just want a community. I want a, a, a loyal base, you know what I'm saying? A community of like people I can, people like me, you know what I'm saying? I can laugh with, joke with, you know what I'm saying? People that get my humor and stuff like that. People just watch me for me. That's what I want. I know the money going to come with it, but my main focus is building the community and just like, you know what I'm saying? Entertaining people and just having fun, bro. Like, that's really what it is. But everybody is money hungry, bro. Like, money hungry. That's why they spamming these, these 20 v ones because they know they're going to get the clicks and views, bro. And they put no effort in the fucking video, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just, it's just annoying, bro. It's annoying, bro. YouTube is not even like, it's, it's just about money now, bro. Like, like I said, the money is cool. Like, I want, of course, I want money. I ain't gonna say anything like, oh, I ain't gonna be not saying like, I want, I want to make money. I want to make hella bread. You know what I'm saying? But the reason I'm doing this content though, because I just wanna, I wanna build a community and just have fun with other people. You know what I'm saying? Get myself out there and just. Be me, have fun, you know what I'm saying? It's just it really what it is, for real, for real. He swipes 20 guys for his mom. In the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If I would have cursed in front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this <laughs> video today, if I'm being real with you. But yeah, I just find it odd how these guys literally have videos, and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes, which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch. <laughs> If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined okay. up. And one by one, they basically go through these lines. Okay, 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 okay. I ain't gonna lie. I watched a couple of Smash the Passes only because, like, to me, it'd be funny when they when, when they when they get mad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? When they when they when they say pass, bro, they be heated, bro, and ready to go on somebody. That'd be that'd be funny to me. That's probably the only time I probably watch a Smash the Pass when I know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody about to Kirk off or something. You know what I'm saying? It'd be funny. But... Really, for real, for real, I don't even watch Smash Smashes or Passion no more. I don't watch the 20 v ones. It's just like, or or the Pop the Balloon one. The Pop the Balloon one is another popular one too. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I'm just here for entertainment. But they just like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm really just just here to watch people get mad and you know say Kirk off on somebody. You know what I'm saying? That that'd be the funny one when they start joining. But I don't I don't watch that joke. 
smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of it's pretty sad when you really think about it if i had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes i'm not gonna lie i probably wouldn't even make it through <laughs> i would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video but yeah that's another style of content with black youtube that's pretty stupid in my opinion i mean imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher what pass. and like i said earlier a lot of black youtube their content just revolves around just extremely horrible just content. Mm -hmm. public interviews i mean you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing find your match which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff overall my problem with black youtube is that number one it's just unoriginal everybody's mm -hmm. just copying off each other and expecting to become the biggest black youtuber of all time with zero originality which is absolutely crazy and number two all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them and then once these kids click on them they're just going to freaking promote these little scams uh -huh. and stuff like the 750 dollars cash app scam just so they can get paid overall black youtube is just down atrocious right yep. now and it's honestly sad to see bro but yeah this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video it'll be somewhere up here on the screen but yeah with all that being said thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out yeah man i ain't gonna lie that's a w video bro he realized this he, he did it he did his thing with this one bro but if y'all enjoyed the video man like comment subscribe bro turn on post notifications man and all I say is have fun and be ourselves, you know what I'm saying? And try to be creative as possible, whatever you do, and try to be the best at whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? And I love y'all, and I'm out of this jump. Peace.